Hey everyone! So today we're gonna check out a new ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2 i9100. This time it's going to be the Vanilla Root Box ROM. It's an AOKP ROM and not an AOSP ROM. An AOSP ROM is based on the original source Android development, while an AOKP is based on a an AOSAP but with additional modifications to it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Vanilla Root Box ROM and I'm going to provide certain requirements, the programs you need, and most of all the configuration and the setup in, on how it's going to be done. And yeah, don't forget that you need to have your Galaxy S2 i9100 to be rooted. Don't worry, I got a video below here. It's in the link somewhere here in the screen. Uh, provide steps and an easy guide on how to root your Galaxy S2 i9100. So stay tuned. So the first thing you have to do is download the Vanilla Root Box ROM. It's pretty easy and straightforward. All you have to do is to go to rootbox.ca. Don't worry, all the links will be provided in the video description below and on the written guide on wiredmash.com. So you head over to the website, which is rootbox.ca, and select Downloads. Once there, scroll down for your Galaxy S2 i9100 and open official release. So once there, uh, make sure the modification time is on descending, meaning the latest comes up first. So in my, in my case, the latest version is version 3.9.1. Perhaps in the near future, they'll get 3.9.2. Nevertheless, download it. It's only roughly about 130, oh, sorry, 150 megabytes. It's pretty small compared to the Samsung Galaxy S2 official Jelly Bean firmware, which is around 500 megabytes, which is all loaded with all a lot of crap and bloatware. Once you download it, save it onto your to a folder in the computer, of course. And the next thing you have to download is Google Apps. As it's a custom ROM, Google Apps is not usually included. So just head over back again to Rootbox. Don't worry, the links will be in the video description below. And download Google Apps. And the file size is roughly about um, 90 megabytes. So once done, call, go back to your desktop and uh, connect your phone, your Samsung Galaxy S2 via a micro USB cable. All right, it's connected. And guys, I'm using the official XWLSJ firmware right over here. I have another video on how to flash it. So it's been connected successfully. Find the folder where you saved it at. Copy both G apps and root box onto the SD card of the phone or the internal storage, depends on you, but I prefer the SD card. Once there, paste it, give it a few seconds. And a tip guys, for the vanilla root box, you can actually save your photos on your SD card. There were some issues with other AOSP and AOKP rooms in, rooms in which you can't save the photos on an external SD card due to certain programming issues. But luckily with the vanilla root box, you can easily save your photos or any other files onto your, uh, well, I'm not so sure about any other files, but for photos for sure, you can save it on the SD card. So you just have to create a new folder, call it, uh, DCIM and camera. That's basically about it. So the next step you have to do is to turn off your phone and remove the USB of course. So we're gonna turn off the Samsung Galaxy S2. Oops. Let's turn it off, power off. So once the phone has been successfully been turned off, head over to the CWM recovery mode. So you do that by pressing volume up, home button and power button all at once for roughly about 10 seconds. Keep on holding it, it should flash twice. There you can let go now. 
and once there you should be presented with a menu yeah as you can see I'm using the CIA kernel here and select install zip from SD card choose zip from SD card head over to using the volume down root box yes I would like to install it please so it's opening up the update package right now installing the update this will take roughly about uh, I guess around 30 seconds at most again I'm sorry guys for if I'm not um, if it's not stable enough I'm currently standing so I'll do my best to make sure it's stable the phone itself so give it at least about 30, 30 seconds to a minute so it's done, yippee and the next thing you have to do is choose zip from SD card again because we're going to install the Google Apps G Apps yes I'd like to install it please go back and we're going to do a wipe data factory reset yes delete all user data we're doing this because we're coming from a different uh, platform a different completely different firmware because um, the Samsung Galaxy S2 official firmware is a lot different compared to the AOKP here it has to be safe so make sure you guys back up your data do a wipe cache partition yes yeah, so I'd like to do a wipe partition all right so we can reboot system now so there you go guys as you can see there is the official root box animation screen so I'll be back once it's fully loaded so after giving it like a minute or two minutes at most you'll get to the welcome screen of the root box uh, ROM this is the same welcome screen you get on the Nexus 7 and uh, Nexus 4 or any other Google devices so you click start so I want to skip this yeah skip anyway no I don't have a Google account not now so, yeah later on next please next um, next uh, next next finished so okay let's check if Google Apps has been installed yes you can confirm if Google Apps has been installed with the Play Store here and if you of course the Google Apps like Google um, and messaging I believe yeah that's right so it's been successfully installed and as you can see this is a total different experience it looks like a pure jelly bean experience so let's just make sure the camera is working properly no thanks let's get into settings use external storage let's take a picture wow that's bright okay so hopefully it stores the picture externally and I believe it does yep <clears throat> so this picture now is stored externally onto your SD card as you can see storage SD card DCIM camera so that's basically about it so I'll have an overview of the vanilla root box uh, ROM a review of it in about a week's time so stay tuned for that don't forget to like subscribe and thanks for watching